<laughs> what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video so today guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how i change the oil out of my car when i take it to the shop to get an oil change they charge me like bro like i think like 170 180 something around, like between there right i'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do i'm gonna show you the tools you need what kind of oil depending on the car you got you know other than that man i hope you guys do enjoy make sure you like the video subscribe if you're new but before we go ahead and start anything um, just so you guys know, if you guys are new in my, in my, you know, on my channel, I have a 440 2018 X-Drive Grand Coupe, four-door, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly the, uh, everything you're going to need. So this is the oil that I'm using, guys. I'm using the, uh, Castrol Edge High Mileage, whatever. My car doesn't have that many miles, but, you know, this is the oil that I, that I put before, so that's the one I'm going to put today. So my car uses a OW20 full synthetic oil depending on the car you got you just gotta you know kind of go on your uh manual and stuff and you know see which how whichever oil you need but for my car is this oil right here so i need six six point nine or something like that right so this is seven in total so i don't know why they don't just say seven so that's what we're gonna do well but i'm putting two i'm putting seven so whatever so we also have a little cone thingy because you know i make a mess i don't know how to do anything without making a mess so we got that we also have the oil filter right here. Um, and this is the oil that my uses is the S9186XL. So I got everything from AutoZone. You also need a torque wrench. You also need a, you know, a ratchet. Cause this is, you always need it. You also need the 32 millimeter socket, which is what you'll use to take off the cap of the oil. And you also need a 17 millimeter to get off the bolt on the bottom of the car so so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the cap because our oil filter sits like right here it's in a bad spot but that's where it sits so i gotta take this off and then i probably gotta move a couple things so these come out pretty easy all you gotta do is kind of like they have little clips so just lift it don't be too don't be scared guys just lift that bitch you know and then you got that we're gonna go ahead and put this aside for now so you guys can see the filter the oil uh filter right there dang it's in a bad spot somehow i gotta see how i'm gonna fit the 32 millimeter i'm gonna go ahead and put the car up i don't even know but i think that's where this shit is at i mean you can just you know keep checking it here and there but i think we're gucci man i just gotta lift it high enough to where i can get under the car safely um i don't have any other supporting you know you can buy the little support things that you can put under the car right after but i don't have that so i'm gonna just put jack stands and then i'm gonna put like i got spare tires right here so i'm gonna just use it put it under the car and that's what's gonna you know hopefully hold it down for your boy but my car is already low so i need to put this shit up this is gonna take a little while so yeah i should have used this one bro look i did this in like four pumps bro yeah that was fast I ain't gonna lie, but now the now if you look at the other one, the other one, bro, I was pumping for like ten minutes, and now it's on the freaking on the ground again, because this one's like smaller, so I gotta pump this one more. Okay, guys, so I know you can't really see that much, but at least you can see the bolt, which is right here. That's what you need the seventy millimeter for. Uh, you take that off, and then the oil, you know, that's where the oil is gonna come out of so for you to drain it. Push it to the left. How? Oh yeah, I got it right. Ow! I fucking damn this shit body my hand. Ow! I I I took skin off, bro. Oh fuck! That shit hurt. So that's it, guys. As you can see, I'll right, come out. Shine the light on it. Shine the light on it. This on the on the drain. Yeah, so you can get this footage of the drain. Uh, That's the oil draining right there. So now you just wait for that. Look at my hand, bro. Dirty. This is the um, this is the bolt right here. And so I'll show you guys with the with the oil filter. Actually, one more thing. If you guys wanted to drain faster, so you take off the end, this right here. So you take it, you open the you know that a little bit, and then that way. It can, you know, go faster. Now, coming back to this, guys. With this bolt right here, it cut and the oil filter comes with, you know, the filter, which is what you're going to replace the filter with. And then it comes with another bag, right? Garbage. 
This bag comes with a little rubber thing that goes around the filter because you got to replace the old one. And then also comes with like this copper looking, you know, ring, which is what you're going to replace this copper, the one that's on the thing. You know, you know what I'm saying, Billy? It's getting a little dark. I'm trying to get this done before it's late or dark out so you guys can see. But other than that, you know, I gotcha. So guys, um, I went ahead and moved this little rubber thing. It goes like right here. So like it goes right here. I just like moved it out the way because... You know, I don't have a shrivel. If you have a shrivel, it make it a lot easier, but I don't. So I had to move it. So that's where it is. I put the 32 millimeter socket in there. Uh, yeah, you can record that. And then I'm gonna, I had to, you know, figure it out a way to get this in there, bro. Cause this is kind of hard with all this stuff in the way. Um, I'm trying to, to fit that. Ah, fuck. I think I might need a shrivel, y'all. Got a shrivel, the one that bend. Oh my God, that shit would have been golden. Gosh. We having some technical difficulties. I, I, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how, I've seen people do it without a shrivel, but for some reason I cannot freaking turn that, turn that little shit without a shrivel. So I'm gonna go have to find myself a shrivel and then get back to this. But yeah, we had to take a little detour. We're gonna have to run into, um, bro, is it even open? I need to check. I need to check. I think it is open still. Cause you know, it's 7.30. I think they might close us. Do they? Bruh, but right now I'm trying to make it to AutoZone so I can find this shrivel that I need. Uh, let me see. What time do they even close at? Let me check what time they close at because without that, I already did everything like drain the oil. You know, everything is done. I just need to take off that, put the new filter on, close the bottom, put the new oil in, and that's it. That's that's it, bro. Who they honking at? Oh, my fault. My fault. They honking at me. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, run into AutoZone real fast. Hopefully, they, bro, if they don't have it, bro, I'm going to be depression. Um, but we're going to go to AutoZone, see if they have that. And then um, hopefully, you know, it's smooth sailing after that. So let's see what's up. So I'm pulling up to AutoZone right now. I'm bringing this so I can use it as reference. And see if they got what I need. So let's see what's up. Okay, so we got all the tools here. God damn, that's mad big. Okay, so you guys, um, I found this thing right here. It moves enough, you know? So hopefully this will do what I needed to do. I think it should be good with this one. So let's see, let's pray to the gods that this is works because other than that, I don't know what else. And we can't do it if this doesn't fit, but I think we should be good though. So let's go back home and continue doing what we're doing. So stay tuned for that. And then the cops are looking for somebody and it's not me. Now that we got this little uh, extendy thingy. Hopefully now it should be all right. Um, we should be good now. So we just need to get that out and go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some towel, you know, cause I don't want the oil to leak anywhere in the engine bay. Cause you know, that could start a fire. Take it out real quick. Put that towel there, you know. Put it on this towel, okay. Put it on that towel. And I saw that, you know, it had a little, a little too much oil. Good thing we had the, the towel there so we can kind of clean it up afterwards. You guys won't be able to see it, but it's all good. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because, you know, we don't want no oil lingering around like that. So just for this, you just kind of like take it off like so. So now all you got to do is take off this old one. So you just take that out. And then you put the new one. You just put, you know new one on it there you go and it has a special like you know slot where it goes so where you take off the old one you just put the new one on there and it should feel like that you can put a little oil around it so you know it doesn't break and shit now we grab the the new filter the new one it has two different sides you know so you put the little one in so you put this one in and it should it, there's gonna be like a little clip I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's a little clip. Once you put that clip in, then that's ready to go. And we just put this back. The same spot where you took it out of. Put this back. Uh, they, I mean, you won't be able to get it in there. It's fine. I just really know if that's where it goes. Once we put that, I put that in already. Now we just kind of take out the old copper looking thing. Put the new one on. And then that's it. Now we're gonna go back onto the car, put this in, you know, lock it up. Oh yeah, you gotta use the torque ratchet for this, and then you gotta um, torque it to like 25 pound torque. So once you know on 25, you put it, you set it to 25, and then you just go until it clicks. Once it clicks, then you know that you torqued it to the right 
you know, numbers, and then that's it. All right, guys, so now we gotta put this whole thing into the engine, and then, yeah. I gotta put it out close. Man, for some reason, you know, BMW says 6.9, but bro, what the hell's the point? Just put seven. You'll be all right. And now, since then I just got two little ones, and then that should be good. When was the last time you even got this? What? An oil change? I mean, last time I needed it. Like how, much, like how long it took? I don't know, a couple of thousand miles. No, like how many months? I don't know. I just know a couple thousand miles. You know months? Nah. Like, like, like you can't, can you say it was like three months? More than three months? Shit. Can you say like, it was, like, can probably. you say it was last month, nigga? No, it wasn't last month. Can you month. say it was two months ago? I think like three months, four months. There you go, then that's how you say an estimate. Some shit like that. Like three, four months ago. Boom, boom. That's it. Bing, bang. Once you finish that, let me show you, you know, we got everything out. You check the oil. And now I'm going to show you guys how to reset it in the car. And then that's it. So. Okay guys, so now from inside the car, there's this button um, on the left. Can you see my finger? The lights are on, but fuck. It is a little dark, it got dark. But um, if you guys can see my finger, there's a little tab here on the, on the right under your gas. So what you do is you hold on to it, you hold it down, and a little screen is gonna come on. Oh, let's see, you guys can see. So engine oil, reset possible. Um, so now what you do is, since it's there, once you see the engine oil, you hold it again. Boom. And then it says reset. So you hold it again. And it's resetting in progress. So it starts loading like so. Um, if you don't have a digital dash, it might be a little different. But see, it said reset uh, successful. So now, you know, you're good. What you guys can do is, you know, you guys can drive it for a few thousand miles or not a few thousand, probably like 30 minutes or so. And then you can actually pull your car to, you know, do a test and then you can see if, you know, you, you're low on oil, if you're missing oil or whatever. So, but other than that, that is it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, you guys want like a little bit more in depth, let me know. Um, hey, I'm not a mechanic. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a mechanic. So I'm a self-taught from home, you know, regular guy, just like everybody else. But I'm just trying to figure out how to do everything myself and, you know, save money and also learn about my car on the way. So um, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.